welcome back to the channel guys Benji Biker here and I'm just on my way back from work it was a lovely day I suppose it's a bit gloomy but nice temperature I hope everyone's had a good week a good day today And this video is basically just to, um, I'm going to give my review on a couple of new products I bought. If you follow me on Instagram, it's on the screen now if you don't. Uh, I posted about a couple of new products I bought that I'm going to do a review on today. Just out of uh, giving insight to anyone who's looking at buying stuff, basically. Um, anyone who's looking at motor vlogging. It's an, a new addition to my motor vlogging gear, so we'll help anyone else out who's thinking about it. Now, I used to have a GoPro mount from the side of my helmet, which I showed in my previous how to motor vlog video a few videos ago. And uh, I explained that you don't really notice much when it's on the side, you do get a bit of wind drag, but nothing that's too difficult to handle and uh, basically I decided that uh, the reason why I decided to change it was the sticky uh, the problem with sticky pads that you get from the GoPro is eventually after all the wind pushing against your GoPro you start getting the uh, situation where your GoPro starts dropping and I noticed it in a couple of videos that I recorded but not published to YouTube that the YouTube was dropping and you could tell that it was at an, at an angle so I decided to change it at first I just moved it a bit closer to, to make it central but then I was still getting the same thing and at this time I tried it with two stickies and it actually just deteriorated so much quicker than it did with just one sticky and I couldn't be bothered to keep replacing stickies every time it started happening so what I decided to do was get this product that's flashing up, uh, be up on the screen now and the reason why I got it, I had seen it before but didn't think it would be that great because it will cover your air vents at the front of your helmet so I didn't bother buying it but then when I was at MotoGP I saw someone who had the same setup and it looked like it worked really well so I thought I'd buy it, I can't remember the price of it but I'll link it in the description as I do with all my gears in the description all the time so I decided to buy it and it's actually so much better than having sticky pads. A set of straps go from the top through your visor where your visor closes and then links down to another set of straps that come up through under the chin of your helmet and they just uh, you pull them tight and then you push a clip down and it holds it and that's it that's it mounted so you can put it where you want so I moved it slightly down so air is still able to get through to the vent and then uh, it already has the attachment for just slotting a GoPro on and screwing it on basically. Uh, I think what I did with mine, let's see if I see on it, yeah, so I used an adapter to make it go up slightly more so I can have it a bit more central and also give me the movement so I can bring it out and then tilt it back so you get the view that I get with my eye line, if you get what I mean. Uh, so I need to just use one of the previous adapters I had when I had it mounted on the side just to give it that little bit of up and backwards forwards motion movement and it works really well I've not had a problem with it I've just literally pushed the GoPro as far back against the helmet tighten it up and it didn't get any issues and the, I did actually end up realizing how much difference it makes with less weight because all this the sticky pads and then all the attachments to get it where it was before you don't realize how much weight's on it until you take it off and when I took it off and replaced it with this the weight difference is immense uh, so much better and it feels better to ride with and actually makes less wind noise because there's less deflection off your helmet it's all still in the center so yeah the review on that is that it's it's amazing it works so much better i've preferred all my recordings i've done that i've recorded every time i go out regardless if i'm motor vlogging or not 
and every time I've watched the recordings back, uh, it's so much better. I prefer it so much more, and it's so uh, it's so much less movement from the wind on the camera itself. You can tell that it's literally just stays still. So yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10 for that product. I'd highly recommend it for anyone who's looking at motor vlogging and can't get the uh, GoPro to the chin using adapters and sticky mounts. And it's just a, it's just a pain. Uh, this is so much better. Highly recommend it. I bought it from Amazon. So uh, yeah, links in the description. Now for second topic, I changed my intercom system. The intercom system I bought before was just a, like a 40 quid system I bought from Amazon. It done the job. You know, I could listen to music while riding, I could make phone calls while riding. It was just a bit basic and a bit too much of having to take my hand off the, uh, off the handlebar to do stuff. Uh, especially when you're feeling around for buttons, trying to figure out what button's what. And then you're pressing the incorrect buttons and then you've got to keep pressing more buttons. And yeah, it's just a... Pain. So yeah, it was just a bit of a pain, and I had a couple issues with it. A couple issues with it, but um, when I'm trying to pause the music, so when I come to a stop and I want to pause the music to, because I'm at the end of my journey or something like that, I press the button to pause the music and pause the music for two seconds, and then start playing it again, and it really got on my nerves. And then trying to use the Siri function with my iPhone. You'd have press and hold the button for two seconds for it to activate Siri. But the noise that Siri makes when you talk to Siri or press the button on your phone, it makes like a, a bing bing sound sort of thing to, to let you know to start talking. But it didn't communicate that through the intercom. So I had to guess when I was trying to talk to Siri and it was just, it just didn't work. It was just every time I was there, uh, trying to talk to Siri but I'd either miss my chance or I said it too early and uh, you just don't know and one day I just got really aggravated with it so I decided to fork out the money to buy a, a well-known good system and it this is a major price difference I went for the Senas or Senas whatever they pronounced and I went for the S20 uh, the 20S Evo now i think just buying the kit on its own is like 230 pounds i bought the dual kit which was 360 pounds so i could give a set to caitlin so whenever she's on the back we can intercom together now there's that saying that you get what you pay for and i'm not sure I'd probably say it is worth the money if you uh, use it a lot, if you're out on the bike a lot and uh, you use it for what it's made for, then yeah, I would say it is worth the money. You can connect, I'll tell you the features it's got with it. You can connect your phone to it, listen to music and have GPS playing at the same time. So it will quiet your music when GPS is telling you. So if you don't want to have a mount like I've got, because you don't want to be distracted from the road, you don't want to have to keep looking down. You can have GPS tell you, so open up Google Maps or Apple Maps or whatever maps, Waze or, and whatever you use. And you can make it, obviously turn the volume up on it and let it tell you when to take junctions or whatever additions you've got on it. <laughs> Telling you speed limits, etc. if you've missed the speed limits on. It will quieten the music, tell you what, what's coming up in whatever distance and then it will turn the music up again and then obviously it'll just do the same over and over again whenever it needs to tell you something it'll quiet the music and let you know now that's great straight away i thought that was awesome when using the other one the cheaper product you can only have gps playing you can't have music playing at the same time so the whole journey is quiet until your gps talks to you so it depends if you want to be listening to music or not. The second one is uh, you can use uh, Senna to connect up to eight other riders uh, that have Senna's or 
I think a max of four with people who don't have centers. Something like that. I've tried it with my friend because I gave him my old uh, intercom and we were able to come together and talk and it worked really well. Uh, the difference between the two is uh, with, with the Senna you can once again play music, have maps on in the background and the intercom at the same time. So when you listen to music and the intercom speaks it will quiet down the voice, uh, quiet down the music so you can hear what the other rider is saying and the same for when you talk to the rider, when you talk it will quiet your music so it's ready for a response sort of thing which was awesome, it worked really well, it was crystal clear to pick up any wind noise from either rider it was it was absolutely amazing, it was a first time I've ever used intercom for using it for intercom all the other times you use it for music or maps and it was great, I had so much fun and so did uh, John as well, my friend who has it oh I've got an itchy nose So you can have music sharing with other centers. So I tried it with Caitlin, not on the bike, but we tried it just when we set them up. Now we started in the comment and I can Bluetooth share whatever music I'm listening to through to her intercom over the Bluetooth as well. So we can both listen to the same song. You can, once you've paired your intercom and you've started the intercom group, you can stop and start the intercom whenever you want. So if you're like my partner Caitlin who likes to sing along to songs then uh, she can press the button to pause the intercom call for example and sing along to the song that she's listening to if I need to say something to her it will let me know as well that we're no longer intercoming because it'll be uh, give me a beep every now and then to let me know it's paused if I need to speak to her, I just press the button to re-enable the intercom and she do, or she does the same if she needs to speak to me and then do the exact same to pause it which I thought, think is a great great benefit you know, if uh, you, know, you want to say so if I wanted to motor vlog whilst on intercom but didn't want to do it, so, like didn't want her to be constantly hearing me or whoever I'm with to be constantly hearing me while I'm motor vlogging I just pause the intercom and just talk I thought that was an amazing feature can do environmental so volume control to the speakers by judging the environmental noise it can alter your speakers to the right volume so you don't have to keep manually turn up and down when when you're riding at speeds or in slow moving traffic you don't have to keep fiddling with the volume controls and the center comes with a, a app for your phone so you can do all the settings on your on your phone set up to how you want and it's saved you can also set up your groups as well for intercom on another center app there's two separate apps there's just a lot more you can do with the center compared to the cheaper products but the depends how basic you want it to be you know it's the same with mobile phones isn't it uh, some people are happy with just a phone that can text and make phone calls other people want the phone to do everything i am one of the people who want my phone to do everything mean doggo yeah I'm wondering people want my phone to do everything so I'll be the same when riding uh, it has voice control as well uh, ambient mode and uh, all sorts there's loads of stuff on it I will put it in the description and let you be the judge yourselves now the only problem that uh, I have which is a real annoyance because I thought it would be able to do it I just didn't do enough research is that Senna is supposed to be able to connect to GoPro and take so your GoPro will record the intercom so you'll be able to hear the person speaking to me and obviously hear me for the external mic anyway uh, but you can get rid of the external mic and just do it through one of Senna's um, compatible things that go onto the back of GoPros what I didn't realise is that GoPro being GoPro on the new ones, so the 5, 6 and the 7 they changed the audio and you have to buy them special mic adapters that I've shown in the videos before so the Senna is only compatible to do record intercom via the Senna's um, accessory from Hero 4 Hero 5, 6 and 7 can't do it and that really bugged me so if I want to 
record intercom conversation, I'm going to have to run a microphone from get a, get a splitter and run a second microphone from the external mic um, input on the GoPro and put it on the speaker itself which is really annoying I haven't done it yet but I will do it at some point but yeah I just think it's super annoying and GoPro will not change they won't collab with Senna to sort that which is really annoying the amount of people have complained about it and GoPro have done nothing about it so that's literally the only downfall other than that I think it's a great accessory works really well fits nicely onto the helmet um, and yeah, in my opinion, it is worth the money. A lot of people won't think it's worth 230 quid, but you know, I'd like to have as, mo uh, as much control over something with as little ease, if you get what I mean. So yeah, I hope this has been insightful for anyone who's uh, looking at getting attachments for the helmet, anyone who's looking at riding, anyone who's looking at motor vlogging all of the above all links will be in description make sure you keep up to date with my instagram if you're following it if you're not following it the instagram link will be at the end of the video again as usual don't forget if to like the content comment below if you've got any any questions or anything you want to talk about in general or any discussions or even if you just really like the video If this is the sort of content you like, don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you all on next week's video. Anyway, take care everyone. I'll see you all on the next video. It's been Benji Biker.